Chapter 14. Zion and her daughters will be redeemed when the Lord returns in the millennial day. Verse number 2. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, the fruit of the earth excellent and comely to them that are escaped of Israel. In verse number 2, Isaiah is talking about the time of peace that will be experienced after the last great war in Jerusalem, when most of the people were killed, particularly its men. Isaiah says that because so many men have died, the gender balance will be unequal and there will be many more women than men alive. The large numbers of single women, though financially independent, will look to and pursue the remaining men for marriage and to have children. The branch Isaiah is talking about sounds to me like a it could be a symbolic name for the Messiah who comes at this time in all his glory and the fruit of the earth, the blessings of the faithful of the house of Israel who is still alive after the destruction of Jerusalem, enjoy. It could be also the family of Lehi and their descendants who the Lord broke off and saved to bring the restored gospel to the world. Verse number three, and it shall come to pass that they that are left in Zion and, re and remain in Jerusalem shall be called holy everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. Those who are still alive after the purging and, and the war are the holy ones, the ones who are honorable or holy or worthy of living in either the terrestrial or the celestial kingdoms. Verse number four, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. Those who get baptized are washed clean of their sins and iniquities, cleansed by the blood of Christ and purified by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Verse number five, and the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud of smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night, for upon all the glory of Zion shall be a defense. Isaiah says that the Lord will bless and protect all the people left in Jerusalem with his presence and his glory through a cloud by day and by a, with a fire by night, like he guided Moses and his people out of Egypt. In verse number six, and there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and for a place of refuge and a covert from the storm and from the rain. The tabernacle is a holy place or a shelter. In the latter days, Isaiah says that the people of Israel will flee to the temples, to the churches of Christ for safety, for peace and for protection.